Hello everybody and welcome. In this short video I'm going to be taking a look at a program called Voice Attack, and more specifically its use within DCS. I must admit, although being vaguely aware of its existence, I never got around to testing the program until last week. And since then I've been constantly tweaking it, so you could say it's a bit of a time sink. That begs the question asked of all things which take time. Is it worth it? Before answering that question, let's first of all explain how it works. In simple terms, the program continuously scans your microphone for voice commands. It converts those voice commands into keystrokes or combination of keystrokes, and then it sends those keystrokes on to the program you have previously selected as the target. This may sound like just another toy for the lazy. However, if used correctly within DCS, it provides a particular set of advantages. The first and major advantage it provides is communications with the AI ATC. Because in DCS the AI ATC options are bound to the function keys of your keyboard, more often than not you can end up pressing the wrong key. With voice control the chance of hitting the wrong command is very much reduced, particularly if you're playing under low light conditions. Additionally, for those using IOR tracking, it saves having to perform that time-honored ritual where you lean forward staring into your pilot's taint while your fingers fumble around for the correct function key. The use of voice control also means that you can keep your hands where they belong on your stick and throttle. The next question any sound-minded person would ask is how easy is it to set up? The setup is quite simple. You download and install the program from the description below and you get a screen something like this. Here you see a list of the commands I've already created, but the creation process is actually quite simple. To create a new command, all you have to do is click on new command over in the corner of the screen and that will open up a brand new window where you input your text first and then input the keystroke. In the command window you can enter either single or multiple keystrokes. You can designate the order in which the commands are executed. This gives you the ability to enter more complex commands or even groups of commands which can be performed from a single spoken word, phrase or sentence. Let's take a look at how this works. The commands have to be spoken slowly and clearly so I'm afraid if you have a cleft palate you're kind of fucked with this one. To throw a little spanner in the works, some jets, such as the A-10 here, have multiple comms menus. This is not really a problem per se, however you must speak really clearly when differentiating between things like UHF and VHF. Furthermore, the commands you saw me set up earlier can be used in any situation where you normally use the function keys, such as external views as you can see here, and also selecting the map screen if you need to go to it rather quickly. This can be really useful for quickly checking tower and ILS frequencies. The other use I found for this program was to quickly bring up the kneeboard. With one simple command I could bring the kneeboard up or put it away, and another two commands for previous page and next page I was sorted. Now for some bad news. Because this program piggybacks on the Microsoft speech recognition system, you're going to have to set aside an hour or so to train the system to recognize your voice. It's as tedious as it sounds. Now let's go back to the original question I posed at the start of the video. Is it worth the time? Apart from the hour I spent teaching Microsoft how to listen, the setup of this program was actually quite simple and quite quick. I had read in a couple of places online that it was difficult, it was involved, it was tedious, and that sort of put me off getting this program for a while. However, all that was really involved in the process was opening up this program and opening up DCS in tandem. I simply went to the settings menu on DCS, then I simply picked out the list of commands I wanted to use as voice activated. I then returned to the program and set up my list of commands and keystrokes. In total there were no more than 20. This program comes as a 21 day free trial and to buy it costs $10. For the use I've gotten out of this alone it has been well worth it. All that's left to say is I thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe or comment below. Thank you and goodbye.